What's up Savage Family, it's Tan Savage and I'm tuning you into tonight's video and if you read that title you already know we're about to talk about overcoming a heartbreak. And first thing first, we just gonna put our shoes on and we just about to fight everybody sis. Everybody about to get their ass beat. Just kidding. Okay girls, before I even get started you already know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and we just gonna get straight into this video. First thing first, number one, we are gonna define if your relationship is worth it. Is your relationship worth fighting for? Is it fixable? That's something you have to figure out. Like if it's not a toxic relationship then it's worth fighting for if it's something minor nothing major in the relationship that's one thing about our generation we break up for the stupidest things i mean y'all break up for the stupidest things i don't but y'all be breaking up just because your man likes somebody picture or she likes somebody picture that is the most stupidest childish thing ever so if you ain't got no real problems in your relationship that's an easy fix and you see potential in your relationship then i will fix it i will fix the relationship what happened to the love that was worth fighting for like we don't have that kind of love anymore so if it's fixable sis i'm here to tell you that i'm all about fixing a relationship that could be fixed i'm all about families and making things happen you know so fuck what the haters say so number two if you feel and you realize that your relationship is fixable but you just need a break and your partner won't get their mind right then just set them free set them free let it go because they say if you truly love someone then set them free and if it come back then it was meant to be ain't that how it go so basically just set them free and see what happens if they come back around or whatever but that don't mean you wait on them you ain't gotta wait for them so don't stress it don't overthink it just set them free and continue to do you now step number three if they just toxic and it's not worth fighting for like your relationship is straight up toxic then block them right now because them narcissists ain't no joke sis you need to get rid of them because they're going to just keep coming back around and trying to get in your life and do all this unnecessary talking, talking about they're going to change and they love you and they just want to be with you and only you. And they're going to play all these mental mind games and it's just only going to f*** you up more. So right now I'm telling you block them. Don't let them back in. No excuses. No matter how hard and how much you love them, you have to block them. Cause it's toxic it's not healthy for you and number four after you block them don't go back looking for trouble don't be looking on their social medias don't be checking to see if they attempted to call you or attempted to text you it's unnecessary if you're trying to get past this and get over this heartbreak then it's time to move forward don't look back don't go looking forward to see who they talking to next don't worry about them they just out the picture at this point block them move on and don't go looking for trouble number five it's time to look at things on a spiritual level this helped me a lot look at things on a spiritual level what's for you will be for you what's for me will be for me i know and i live by this because god ain't gonna put you through something that's not meant for you so know that it wasn't meant to happen if that lover don't come back around and you thought y'all could fix it it wasn't meant to happen it wasn't meant to be or if you had to really cut off your favorite toxic person then it just wasn't meant to be and it's just that simple you can't control the uncontrollable so just let it go number six you have to be vulnerable and present with yourself i found that i'm at my best when i'm vulnerable that's why i say be vulnerable because you're in touch with your feelings you know how you feel you know the right decisions to make it's different when you know you're present and you're really giving it thought to make the right decisions so be present with yourself and understand yourself understand how you're feeling it's okay to cry if you want to listen to some sad r&b songs to go ahead and make the situation worse because i know i'm guilty of that i do that just listen to them songs for a week and cry your eyes out but after that it's time to snap out of that shit it's time to get over that but be present because if you're not present then you can lose your mind like love can make you really lose your mind 
So I'm saying be present and vulnerable and understand how you feel and try to overcome it. Number seven, it's time to acknowledge the fact that you tried. You gave your all. You tried everything you could to fix your relationship. You was true to this person. You was real. You did everything. It ain't your fault. But acknowledge that you tried and gave it your all. Oh well, you tried. That's how I do it. And number eight, be confident in the situation. Be like, I tried, I gave you my all, and I know I'm the shit. I know I got a lot to bring to the table. I know I have potential, and I know I'm... It's his loss, not mine. Period. Period. Excuse me while I eat my dinner. Okay. Nine, it's time to find a distraction, a hobby, something you good at, something you enjoy doing. For me, as an example, I took on dance and that was a hobby for me. It's therapeutic. So find something that's therapeutic for you that can keep your mind off of heartbreaks, love, and all that bullshit. So find a distraction. Number 10, Focus on self-improvement, I mean physical health, emotional, spiritual, all that. Every aspect of your life, focus on improving yourself. And that means you can go to the gym, you can improve on your skincare routine, you can eat better, you can drink your water, you can read your books, all of that. Work on self-improvement, focus on becoming a better you. Because none of us are perfect. Nobody's perfect. And you couldn't have been a problem in the relationship, but there's areas that you know that you probably could have did better, or you feel like you could improve who you are because you know what went wrong and what could have went, or you know what you could do to make sure your next relationship works. But not only that, work on self-improvement for yourself. Love yourself. That's what I mean. Number 11. It's not the end. <coughs> <laughs> Woo! Number 11. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. So give it time. Give it time. Time heals all pain. Just keep doing you. Keep focusing on improving yourself and distracting yourself. And give it time. It might take a few months it might take a year it may it might take two years but do not let it take over your life you cannot let that happen give it time and continue to take it day by day and see what happens and number 12 now it's time to boss your life up move on get your money up sis because money ain't never made nobody sad hello is this money baby i'm ready to get back together i'm only chasing you Get back to the money, sis. That helped me to stay on your money. Just be about your hustle. Be about your hustle. Boss your life up. And then they don't wish they would have worked things out with you. They don't wish that they would have treated you better. They don't wish they never dogged you. They don't wish they was real with you from the jump. So boss your life up. The best revenge is success. Remember that. And those are just the key steps to get over a little heartbreak, none major. And I hope that this helped you because, sis, you're worth it. You are worth it. Don't think less of yourself. Don't be hard on yourself. Don't beat yourself up. Get over that little heartbreak and get back to business. And I'm talking money, sis. Anyways, thanks for watching my video. I hope that it helped you a little bit. And I hope that you stay away from these suckers. Gotta stay sucker free. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Comment down any ideas that you might have. And stay tuned for the next video. Peace.